I often show you this kind of new wallpapers for your iPhone, especially for this iPhone 10, which look really cool and I get it from one website and if you have been subscribed to this channel, you know which website this is. This website is really popular nowadays, but most of the wallpapers are only for the iPhone and I have never made a video with this kind of wallpapers for the iPad. So this is the purpose of today's video. I want to show you some of these really cool and really nice looking wallpapers and how you can get them for your iPad and make sure your iPad looks a little bit different and a little bit more interesting. So what's up everybody, this is me, this is the Apple Fox channel and in this video, just like I said, I want to show you some really nice wallpapers, some really nice backgrounds for your iPad, which have really nice effect. So just in case you are seeing my hands for the very first time on your screen, you should begin with clicking the subscribe button and that way you will never miss another software update video or anything important for your iPhone, iPad or Apple Watch. If you take a look at this, for example, this wallpaper, as you can see, the folder is invisible. So it means that you actually don't see the border of the folder. You're basically seeing this very small icons that are inside it. This is all created by the wallpapers. So it looks really nice, but of course, everything depends on the software version you are having. On the iOS 11, it is kind of limited, to be honest. You cannot do that much. If you are having an iPad that still has the iOS 10, there the dog looks actually a lot different. You can also create some really nice tricks using wallpapers in case you have the iOS 10. But of course, with the iOS 11, you can do something similar. Now let me open up the website I was talking about. The link will of course be found under the video in the description box. So make sure to check it out if you are interested. So here are these basic categories of the wallpapers, but you have to look for the one that says iPad. When it says iPad, you can open it up and download it and it will basically work on your iPad. Because other way, it will probably not work. So this is the one I was talking about, is the white walls. So you can see that you are not able to see the folders. Also on the iPhone, you can also make the dock invisible, but on the iPad, it doesn't work that way. As I said, the dock in the iOS 11 on the iPad is a lot different. But basically scroll down until you see something that says iPad. There are many of options, so for example this magic dock. You can also open it up and as you can see it says iPad. So make sure to find something you like with this. There are many beautiful options you can download and choose. Next to every wallpaper you have some kind of description that basically says how you should be using the wallpaper. If you can use it as a perspective or it has to be used as a still wallpaper or if you need to have turned on the reduced transparency or not. Everything is explained here so I think it is really nice that you also have the tutorial for this. But basically find the one that you like, open it up of course, just like you would normally want to download a photo or picture from the internet. Also hold down to it after it loads up completely because we want to save the entire picture. This is all of the stuff you know about. Hold down to this image and basically click on save image and set it up as your background just like you would normally do from your gallery or from the settings. This type of backgrounds are also compatible for the iPads and look really interesting in my opinion. The dock should be invisible or sort of invisible, but as you can see if I come back to the home screen, you're gonna be able to notice that I still can see the dock, but it almost like blends with the background and I think it looks really nice and there are many options on which wallpapers you can choose. Oh man, these wallpapers are just really amazing. This sort of 3D look on the iPad is something incredible. As you can see, I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but these lines are moving and weird stuff is happening on the iPad. It just looks really nice to be honest, but I have to tell you this, that I didn't go to the section that said dedicated for the iPad, that is because the developers that are really creative with this didn't test it on the iPad and that's why they didn't put the category as the iPad, but it was only dedicated for the iPhone, but despite that I still downloaded it for my iPad and it works. So even if it's just for the iPhone, make sure to try it out on the iPad and see how well it does, what happens. So make sure to check out all of the options, not only those that are dedicated for the iPad, because as you can see this is for the iPhone and it looks absolutely amazing, like it's just really nice. So guys, this would be probably everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found it interesting and useful. And if you did, just like all the time, please leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed it. And let me know if I should keep creating the content that I create. But anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.